Hello everyone and welcome back. Today my mom and I are in Chinatown. I've been practicing um, a little bit of Cantonese online. So I wanted to practice that a little bit and see how it goes. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm really nervous about it because like I'm already nervous even speaking Mandarin to people, right? Let alone speaking Cantonese because I've only been taking classes now for about a month. So my level is really low. I mean, exceedingly low. So I'm definitely gonna for certain embarrass myself today, but I'm willing to do that for you guys. And I'm willing to do it for the vine. No, I'm just kidding. I know vine is dead. We're gonna see what we can do. Speak some Mandarin, speak some Cantonese. We're gonna seize the day. Carpe diem, as they say. We're gonna carpe diem we're gonna, in, in Latin. We're gonna carpe that diem. Uh, okay, so we're gonna see what Mama, you want to buy something? You can buy it. You can buy it. Just um, the English um, string of pearls. String of pearls? Uh-huh. So that's the string of pearls. String of pearls. Diga. Diga. Um, String of dolphins. Hi twin. Hi twin. Hi twin. Just dolphin, right? Yeah. Uh, this name is called Hoju. They also call Hoju. Oh, this this thing is Hoju. Yeah, yeah. Is which Hoju? Is Hoju Hoju? Yeah, Hoju Hoju. Oh, Hoju. Yeah, yeah. Then this thing is called Hoju. Yeah, yeah. Is which Hoju? Is Hoju Hoju? Yeah, yeah. Then this thing is called Hoju. Yeah, yeah. Is which Hoju? Is Hoju Hoju? Yeah, yeah. Then this thing is called Hoju. Yeah, yeah. Is which Hoju? Is Hoju Hoju? Yeah, yeah. Then this thing is called Hoju. Yeah, yeah. Is which Hoju? Is Hoju Hoju? Yeah, yeah. Then this thing is called Hoju. Yeah, yeah. Is which Hoju? Is Hoju Hoju? Yeah, yeah. Then this thing is called Hoju. Yeah, yeah. Is which Hoju? Is Hoju Hoju? Yeah, yeah. Then this thing is called Hoju. Yeah, yeah. Is which Hoju? Is Hoju Hoju? Yeah, yeah. Then this thing is called Hoju. Yeah, yeah. Is which Hoju? Is Hoju Hoju? Yeah, yeah. I want to buy this. He's standing right here. Okay. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, so they weren't uh, Cantonese speakers or Mandarin speakers, really. She spoke a little bit of uh, Mandarin, but not really that much, right? Yeah. So we could still kind of communicate a little with like a little bit of English and like a little bit of um, Mandarin. And she told me how to say xie xie in, in, in Fuzhou Hua, in the Fuzhou dialect, but unfortunately it was actually like really different. <laughs> From like Mandarin, pretty yeah. different, and, it was there was a and there was a train going by. Yeah, there was also a train going by, but um, it was a little bit difficult for me to figure out what she was saying. But um, anyway, this is a really cool area. I just want to quickly show you guys. What is this? I don't even know. Are these just like pomelos or something? I think they're pomelos. Right now we're under the Manhattan Bridge, and there are like a lot of people selling things under the bridge. It looks like a soft shell crabs are in season. I don't know if that's a. Sh I think that's a blue crab. That's a blue crab. That's a blue crab. It's a blue crab. <laughs> Female. Did you say it's the female? Yeah, the female with the eggs. But where are the where are the male ones? Oh, the season is gone. Oh, yeah, the season is gone. gone. Oh, so you see the male? Well, but not that good. So, oh, yeah. you mean the females taste better? Yeah, for the season, the female tastes better. Oh, and then what is it? How do you say this kind of crab in Chinese? Oh, it's just panxie. It's normal panxie. Um, are you Fuzhou Hua speakers or Guangdong Hua speakers? Uh, so. Fuzhou, is everybody under here like Fuzhou Hua? Oh, How well, the Fuzhou Hua? This was Cantonese one. Ah. Uh, another one was Cantonese. Oh, so some people like over there speak Cantonese and then some people here speak Fuzhou, Fuzhouese? Oh, yeah, because I've been trying to speak some Cantonese and some Mandarin and I think most people aren't really understanding what I'm saying. Like if you speak slowly, they probably can understand. They probably can understand. And where are you guys from? So. Oh, you're also Fuzhou. Yeah. But you guys should also speak Chinese, right? Chinese. Oh, yeah. So it's because you're young people. I think people who are older people will say Chinese. Yeah, but if you talk the old guy for the Mandarin, you have to like you have to speak slowly. Yeah, but you have to say faster. I understand, but they don't understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Interesting. That's right. Yeah, right. They say slowly, but they understand. Thank you so much for telling us about it. Have a good weekend. Bye. I love it. Are you eating that long on I, lo, the long yen we just got from that very nice uh, that very nice lady by the bridge? Oh, uh -huh. uh -huh, sure. She looks like a little nervous at first talking to us because I think 
I'm assuming, like, I mean, she only speaks Fujo, Fujo Nese, right? So probably she doesn't, she doesn't speak to a, 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 an incredibly diverse group of people, I would say. I don't think so, huh? So I think she was a little curious at first why we were talking to her, why we would buy anything from her. So she seemed a little curious about it at first, but then, but then I think when she realized we just wanted to buy something and talk to her a little bit, she was really, she was sweet. Mm -hmm. She was, she was a nice lady, I totally thought. Totally nice. And, and I try to remind myself of that because, you know, I, I do get nervous making this, these type of videos. So I try to kind of think about it in a way that like I'm expanding my horizons and hopefully I'm, I'm expanding you guys' horizons who are watching this video, but also hopefully like it, it gives um, it gives some of these people who otherwise wouldn't have these interactions a good Im impression as well. You know, maybe some people who haven't uh, who are watching this haven't had long yen before because it's not really a very it's not a typical fruit that you get in America. And also they sort of a little bit look like ancient grapes. <laughs> they do, they, they do. It's sort of like, they look a little like um, grapes with no color in them. They're, they're clear and they have like a seed in the middle of them. So I'm just gonna pop that in. You see? A seed comes out. They taste a little bit like lychee kind of, right? Like just a little bit? I thought that's what they were, but I guess mm. they're not. They're something yeah. somewhat, somewhat different. They're a little bit different. I think in Chinese it's long yen, in Mandarin. And then in English, I think it's just long on or something like that, so. Next time you're in Chinatown, try to get, try and try these. They're really quite good.这个怎么做呢 Okay, so so they were selling that ginseng for twenty dollars. It was a little box, and it was kind of expensive. But I don't really know that much about ginseng. So for people that are watching, if you know something, yeah, if you know like what it is about ginseng that is um, good for your body, just let us know in the comments below. So maybe next time, when I do have twenty dollars, we'll I can come back and get some. You can come back and get some. So. Okay, how does it eat you at each and what I, she, she understood, but like that being said, I did say I'm gonna say it in Mandarin first, so maybe she just like knew and she like guessed what I was gonna say. I did it. That was actually, I was really scared, you guys. I'm scared enough to speak Mandarin. <laughs> Like the fact that they understand anything I say in Cantonese at this point, I'm like shocked. I obviously know my accent needs a lot of work, my 声调 needs a lot of work, but at least I can like. 
be slightly understood. So that's a start. That's just, that. that's the way to do it. I mean, that's really the way to do it. If you want to learn how to speak a language, unfortunately, the best thing to do is, I mean, besides memorizing vocabulary, if you've seen my other videos, you know I'm really big on memorizing vocabulary words. But besides that, one of the best things you can do is try to immerse yourselves and talk to people. And let me tell you, it's often embarrassing putting yourself out there being vulnerable like that. People often won't understand what you say, you'll make mistakes. At the end of the day, it really is worth it because it's really such a gift to be able to communicate bilingually, trilingually, whatever lingually, because <laughs> Whatever language yeah. you have. Because that's that's just a really good way to, um, well, you I guess- learn more about the world and how yeah, yeah. the rest of it works. Exactly, you can broaden your horizons and um, hear points of view you never would have heard otherwise. Are people, there's people waving. The videos! Yeah. Oh, my video, oh thank you! Hi, thank you so much! I'm glad you liked it! Oh, sorry about that, guys. We uh, we just got interrupted. It was actually a happy interruption. It was a good interruption because someone got out of their car to say that they saw us singing. It's always really fun when uh, people recognize us. Yeah, that's always well, fun. Because we never think it's us, but yeah. we look behind us and go like, oh, they're not waving at us. Yeah, literally, like these people were waving, and we're both like, they, they can't possibly be waving at us, but they were actually waving at us. Thank you so so much for watching. Of course. Um, if you like videos like this, let us know in the comments below. Of course, feel free to um, comment anything else. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to share, um, to like it, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, we love you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Shots again. Bye.